It's a day that staff that has staff at Bryan Medical Center's Lincoln Hospitals sighing with relief. The first day since the pandemic began that they are not treating any COVID patients. Really remarkable. After more than 1,000 days and more than 4,000 of those patients, Bryan has come a long way at both its east and west campuses. 1011 Now's John Grinvald spoke with one of the doctors who has been through all of this. He joins us live tonight in the studio with a look back at this historic battle. John. Kelsey Cole, yesterday, Brian's only patient with COVID-19 checked out of the hospital and there weren't any new COVID-19 patients admitted overnight or today. Something Brian Medical Center has been hoping to see for three years. I didn't think I'd get emotional, but we need help. You might remember pleas like this one from Brian health workers in the darkest days of the pandemic. There are no more beds. There are no more beds at Bryan if we keep doing what we're doing. The health care system was buckling under the weight of COVID-19 and frontline workers were in despair. Look, these people are dying. I am holding them in their last breaths. The early days and the surge of the Delta variant at the end of 2021 hit Bryan the hardest. But now it seems Bryan East and West have found a little light at the end of the tunnel. Today marked the first day without having a COVID-19 patient. We've been working as hard and as fast as we can, continuing to uh, expand hours, uh, resources to try to take care of each and every patient. And so as we see those numbers down, there is a sense of, re of relief. It's something Bryan Medical Center hasn't experienced since before March of 2020. Chief Medical Officer Dr. John Trapp says the pandemic has brought with it a series of lessons often learned the hard way including the need for better incentives for worker recruitment and retention and relying on telehealth when possible. We've learned to be more nimble as a hospital system. We've learned the importance of working with our communities, working with uh, other healthcare systems to really say, how do we learn and how do we manage this together? Dr. Trapp says Lincoln isn't totally in the clear yet when it comes to COVID, but at least for now, medical workers at Bryan Health can breathe a little easier. Well, this was a big step for Brian. The staff says they'll continue to monitor COVID-19 and they'll manage it with the same level of preparedness they learned by taking the pandemic head on.